Hey guys, how's it going? It's Margaret and I am here with our Sing on Point. I decided to change the name. Um, every Sunday I've been doing a hitting the reset button. About six Sundays in a row I've done it. Um, and then I've been thinking about it and I know I've talked about it a bit on the show and with you guys in the chat that I didn't feel like it was quite right. The first time I did it, for sure, I, it was for sure hitting the reset button. But as it continued on, it was more about um, setting goals and making sure that I'm meeting those goals, or if not, you know, like I'm staying on track. Um, and then I know in the last few I've said, I really just feel like I'm talking about myself so much, and I'm hoping that it's motivating everybody to um, take a step back and reevaluate where they're different areas of their life are going and are they staying on track or staying on point, you know. So I decided to change it and then uh, I'm posting it over in my Facebook, on my Facebook page, Texas Gal Treasures, also in International League of Thrifters. I'll probably put it up tomorrow. I, I shared it there, but I'll talk more about it tomorrow about um, let's talk about our, you know, let's post our goals for the week and see if we are actually staying on point or staying on track, however you want to say it. Um, so, yeah, I see you got a few people in the chat over here. Hello, Kathy and Fran and my sales rocks. How are you? Okay, so uh, my goals. Hey, Caroline, you made it. <laughs> I actually got this idea from Caroline because she does a monthly goals and she just did a video I just watched it. She may have done it before, but I'm finally getting caught up on YouTube um, where she wrote out her goals for the month and then did a monthly check-in. And I was like, man, you know what? That seems like a little more on point about what I'm trying to do here. So I asked her, I was like, do you mind if I kind of steal your idea and tweak it a bit <clears throat> and just do it a weekly? Because if I wait a month, goodness only knows what will happen. <laughs> Hey, hey, Roman. Hey, Michelle. How's it going? Thanks so much for coming and watching live. And if you didn't get to come watch live uh, or you're wondering how to find out, because normally I try to do it Sunday afternoon. It, it usually falls between one and three o'clock. But I got little kids, so you know, just never, you never know. But if you follow me on Facebook, uh, or you're in the International League of Thrifters on Facebook, you can find the link there because I'll share it there to let everybody know I'm about to go live. Um, that's just it. So hello, hello, Kathy and Kirsty. Hello, how are you, Sherry? Thanks for coming over. Um, so last weekend, I didn't do this staying on point because it was our first ever Chatterbooks, which is the book club that we started. So that's also a separate Facebook group now and a whole separate YouTube channel, Chatterbooks. Um, so if you are interested, look, the link is in the description below where we do a a live book club just like this, but we have a panel and then it rotates each month. So it's, I'm really looking forward to that. The first one was great. The author of the book uh, came on, Sharon Pfeiffer came on and talked to us about her book, which I was just amazed. Like first, you know, first one out of the gate, having the author agree to come on. Um, that's what I figured, you know what? It never hurts to ask. So whenever we decided on the book, uh, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to message the author and let her know, see if she's interested. And she was. So, and it was great. So, if you if you're interested, it you know go over find me on Chatterbooks as well. So, anyway, <laughs> hello Julie and Sherry Duke and Sherry's entourage and number one Wolf. Hello. Um, okay, so let's get to it. And I did write my notes down. I'm going to try to do better about looking at them because last time I looked back at my notes and realized I forgot to say a bunch of stuff. So I've got my notes. I've got my calendar here. Um, <clears throat> and again, if you're just popping in, um, I, either in the chat later or in the uh, comments later or over on Facebook, I want us to start sharing what our actual goals are and trying to keep, you know, help us stay on track and motivate each other. You know, I think it helps to tell somebody, you know, this is my this is my goal or my goals. Okay, so again, I do four areas. Let's see, I'm looking at my notes. Look, I even wrote it fancy. Goals, check in, here we go. So, number one, I need to say something that's gonna change a little bit on the channel is that I may be pulling back on my daily videos, which is something I enjoy doing, but I'm finding that my fingers are in too many pies and then like I touch my hair and like it's sticky hair and like it's just making everything a mess if that's if my analogy is good enough. You know, I got my fingers in all these pies 
and then I'm like this and I'm like this and then my okay got cherry pie feeling in my hair so <laughs> so I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna aim for for a week so Friday and Saturday I usually do some kind of haul video Sunday I have my check-in with you guys Monday I have my sales video <laughs> my analogy Monday I have my sales videos and then that is to say I may still do a video every day because I always have tutorials and I always have something but I think that for myself I just have to tell myself there's only really four you know these Friday Saturday Sunday Monday you know Tuesday Wednesday Thursday are gonna be maybe days um, but gosh I always have an unboxing I always have something going on right so I'm just I think for my mental health for the moment, uh, I have to try to scale it back a little bit. And if I do more, awesome. So that's that's where I'm going with that because I just got tiered up for merch by Amazon to 500 shirt designs. So I've been trying to crank out these shirt designs. I can't get my Amazon shipment out even though it's boxed up and just needs to be weighed. Seriously, for like two weeks it's been sitting there. I just have to weigh it and put the label on it. And then, you know, like, then my eBay and Etsy getting things back rolling. It just seems like I can't, I hate to admit it, I can't do it all. <laughs> but I'm trying. I'm really trying. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yes. Caroline says she aims for four a week and her fortnightly show with Sean. Uh, you can't do it. It sends you mad, but I have so many. Right. Yes. I have a whole, like my little book. I have lo lots of ideas and then I have like a, a Google document with ideas. So where can you buy my shirts? Ooh, that's a good question because I have different shirt design names like there's different shop names uh, but I'll give you a little hint if you follow me on Pinterest I have a Pinterest board where I do a little bit of sharing of my shirts so that's a little <laughs> teaser there so if you're interested that there, there's some of them are there so but I, I at first I had them all under my name and then I was like you know what that makes it harder to find I think so if somebody's looking for a shirt let's say about science and I have it under Texas Gal shirts, you know. I, so I went through and changed it to like more fitting names. Yeah. Um, okay. Yes. Yes. Follow each other. <laughs> so we'll see. I mean, I may still upload every day, but I think for my mental health, I had to tell myself it's okay if you just, you know, these are the ones that you you really do. And uh, yeah. Okay, Nevada. Yes, Nevada says she volunteers to uh, nag me about my Amazon <laughs> shipment. <laughs> It's on my list this week. <laughs> my goals. Okay, so business goals. Let's start with business goals. So my last week's goals, or the last time I talked to you, was to get my Amazon shipment in. And as you can see, there's a big no <laughs> symbol there. That didn't happen. Also, Tanya and I were talking about doing a live jewelry jar unboxing together, which is going to be bananas. Because I, when I do a jewelry jar video, it takes me like an hour, hour and a half to go through it. And uh, so I don't know how we're going to do it. But anyway, that didn't happen, as you might know. Nope, that didn't happen. So, and, but then Jay Hangout. Oh, this is bad. Because now I don't know who Jay is. Who did I do a Hangout with? <laughs> um, <clears throat> hmm, that'll come back to me. But whatever it was, I did it. Check. <laughs> Maybe I should look back at my what I wrote down from before. Oh boy, this is why I write things down. Who did I do a hangout this week? <laughs> I think I did. Oh gosh. Oh brother. Nope. Nope. Oh, I thought I had all my notes in in line. J. Oh, 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 I know what it is. J hangout. That's the jewelry hangout that we did. <laughs> That's the jewelry uh, hangout that we did the with. Um, Angie and Karen. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and then so check. We did our jewelry hangout. That was the check. And then this thrift haul throwdown. I did that check, and I won. Even though somebody's a big baby about losing. Anyway, <laughs> he's doing better. He's doing better. And then my other goal that I had was to list my Pokemon stuff because I had some Pokemon games and puzzles and things, and <clears throat> I finally got them listed. So good for me, right? And also on the, on that same note, I set up a separate eBay account. I hadn't done this before, um, and I've had friends tell me, you know, you ought to have a second eBay account. 
<clears throat> and so I finally got that set up and I did put those Pokemon things on the second eBay account because I thought it might sell and get some good feedback on that second account quicker because right now it's at zero and nobody knows who I, you know what I mean? And that's one that I'm probably not going to share my name on. I don't know. I mean, some people say they do that in case there's something that happens to their account. So I'm, I'm doing it as a security step. I, I, nobody's ever messed with me. Who's going to mess with me? Seriously, I'm tough, right? <laughs> Laura says, I bought 40 pounds of jewelry. Wish you lived closer because you could help me go through it all. Oh, gosh, I would love to. Oh, and speaking of that, we started a, when I say we, I mean me, I started a jewelry Facebook group. So if you're in International League of Drifters, you probably saw the, the hubbub about it. Um, that way, it's called jewelry, jewelry Lovers and Sellers for Everything. And ba Oh, my gosh, my phone's going ba-ding, ba-ding. Um, so basically, it's, you know, if you have jewelry and you're not sure, I'm muting it, sorry, Caroline. <laughs> if, you're, if you have jewelry and you're not sure, um, like, what it is and you need help identifying it, or if you know about jewelry, you know, so it's just sort of everybody's helping each other out. And then I figure, you know, somebody may share, like, a, an insignia for a, you know, a company, and I didn't know what it was, but now I do because it was posted in that jewelry group. So next time I see it, I'll know, oh. I know what that is now. Okay. So just, you know, more you know. And, and these little tidbits that just stick in the back of your brain. So the next time you see it, sorry, I'm going to sit, pull my legs up to sit. Um, next time you see it, you'll know what it is. Did I get off track again? Oh, gosh. Okay. <laughs> hey, 32 viewers. Thanks so much for coming. <clears throat> hey, Brooke. And let's see who's there. Who else? Kelly. Hello, Kelly. Uh, this is yet another Kelly. A couple Kellys in there. Okay. Hi, Mary. Hello. Yes, I do. I need a nagger. That's not my husband. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Uh, er, so this week, okay, so those are my goals for last week and kind of what was going on. And let's see, this week, my goal this week, and I'm, uh, I haven't put it up yet, but if you're in International League of Thrifters, I'm hosting the weekly uh, challenge. And the challenge this week is going to be a numbers challenge. So you're going to be posting what your goal number-wise is. It won't be specific like books or jewelry or whatever. So this week, my goal is to list 50 items, which is a lot because I haven't been listing a lot. I think I listed maybe 10 items last week. So I know, right, Tom? Tom's teasing me. He says, off track, the title is staying on point. I'm trying. You know me. It's just, I should say trying to stay on point. But if you like Yoda, there is no try. So there is only do or do not. So apparently not uh, hey Jenny thanks I'm glad you could make it live hey cookie <clears throat> okay so goal one for this week list 50 items goal two clean my workroom up again because it's a mess again um, but we we had the steamers come in the Stanley steamers to do the floors so everything kind of got dumped in there and I don't know why I'm saying that because for, we're actually getting our our kitchen tiled what for whatever reason when they built this house they put hardwood floors in the kitchen, and I'm frozen on the screen. I hope you can see me. So, why am I telling this? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, because we're going to have craziness in the house again. Whoever built this house, whenever it was built, they put hardwood floors in the kitchen. So, if your dishwasher leaks or overflows or your, the ice maker goes out in the refrigerator, it goes down onto these hardwood floors that just start warping, right? So... Um, yeah, it's really bad because then now they're all like around the fridge. It's all warped. So if you walk by and you're barefoot, and you like scrape your foot. Uh, why am I telling you this? Oh yeah, because it's crazy in the house because everything gets dumped in my workroom. That's like the dumping ground. So I don't know how that's going to work out. I'm going to try to clean it up again. <laughs> but we're getting tile put in the kitchen. So Caroline's aiming for a big number this week. She's thinking about a hundred. That's awesome, right? So. We are officially in the fourth quarter, September, October, November, December. Are we? October, November, December? Maybe we're pushing into the fourth quarter. We're not quite there yet. I know everybody keeps saying, we're in the fourth quarter. But isn't it the last three months? That's the last three months, right? So we're almost in the fourth quarter. Maybe I have it right. Okay. Hello, vegan gal. How are you? <laughs> oh, thanks. <clears throat> okay. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Hardwood floors. Hey, Joni. Hey, Angela. Okay, so that's happening. Also this week, what else is happening is that here, Malik is coming over on Wednesday um, to have a chat with me. And we, we actually were having, I was telling my husband in the, in the car that Zaheer was coming over, and I said, yeah, he's my bra, 
And then the boys in the, the back of the back seat was like, what do you mean he's your bra? Like, he's your bra? I'm like, okay, he may wish he's my bra, but he's not my bra. He like, we had to explain that bra meant like my bro. So anyway, Zaheer, my bro, not my bra, is coming over to talk on Wednesday. So that's going to be live and fun at noon. And we're going to like, it's like a giggle fest. I don't know if you, if you haven't watched Zaheer. He, he giggles about as much as I do. So we're going to have a Zaheer Margaret giggle showdown, apparently. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, Michelle says she's going to get 100 new listings up on Etsy. And Brooke, my goal is to list 80 pounds of clothing. Oh, she met at the Goodwill Outlets, the bins for the first time Saturday. 40 pounds. Wow. Oh, 40 and then 40 more. Whoa. Okay. All right. So that's what's going on. Numbers challenge I told you about. And then, um, oh, and then another goal I have for myself because I haven't made enough already. I think, watch, I think I'm biting off more than I can chew. But another goal that if I happen to get to it is that in the jewelry group, I started sharing all of these uh, links to different sites, like how to tell if pearls are real or fake, and here's the different types of chains and what they're called. And I want to start making, because I have a blog, I hardly ever use it, but I think that might be a better place for some of these things. Um, so I'm going to start trying to make like a blog post like about pearls and then like a blog post about chains and like using the pictures and the, these are some good websites, that kind of thing. Maybe I shouldn't try to do them all this week. <laughs> Maybe I ought to do a couple. My goal, Angela says, my goal is not to make too many goals. I think I need to add that to my goals next week. Because I think I made way too many goals. But better to have too many than not enough. Or not. Who knows? Okay. So that's just that's just my business. That's just the business. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> so <laughs> in health and wellness, last last time we talked, I was trying to get to the gym. Um <laughs> Nevada says, get that shipment out first, then you can have as many goals as you like. I like the way you nag. <laughs> okay, so in health and wellness, I didn't get to the gym. Um, Joni asked, maybe ask for some help with the blogs. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, gym. No, I didn't make it. And then, so basically, now the kids are back in school, but the kids are back in school. So, uh, and also... If you know, uh, my mom a while back had some some strokes, and so she's not driving. So this past week, I, I took her, you know, like three days. We're going around. I'm driving my mom. So that's one of the perks of my job and that I work for myself, but then also, you know, keeps me from getting everything, everything that I want to get done, done. So I didn't make it to the gym. That happens. Okay. All right. Let's see what's happening in the chat. Cherie's entourage says, I have to set daily listing goals because I fight. Oh, yeah, you lose your motivation. See, I think it's easy with that, with our type of work, because it's easy to get isolated and depressed. So that's what, one of the reasons I started doing this as well, just that we're talking to each other and, like, and, I, and, and again, I know some people that watch this after the fact it's frustrated that I'm talking to people they don't see and they can't see what people are saying, but... I think it helps, you know, it's, it's good for me and it's good for the people that come and watch live. Like we're talking and we're, you know, it's, I think it's helpful. Yeah. Let's see. Sheree's entourage says, if you ship the Amazon out, you'll have more room in the house. That should be first on the list for Tuesday. Take the kids to school. Swing by UPS store. Okay. You're right. <laughs> yes. Uh, and Caroline says, I think my daily, I think daily goals are great as well. She vlogs her monthly goals, but break them down week in daily bite-sized bits. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, Zaheer, hi. We were just talking about you. Did you just come in because you missed the whole bra thing? You'll have to come back and watch. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. They're going to keep nagging me in the chat about this Amazon goal. <laughs> I'm going to go after this. I'll see on my Facebook page. Amazon, Margaret. Did you get that Amazon out? Okay. Yeah, but I was losing my mind. <laughs> you, yeah, okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, okay. So this week, my goal is, okay, I can't look at the chat because they're still nagging me about that Amazon. It's that same one. It's that same shipment from two weeks ago. It's still sitting in there. For all I know, those things have been restricted by now. <laughs> I could cry about it or I could laugh about it, but they're starting to restrict lots of things. All right, this week, 
Um, I want to get to the gym twice this week, and I started, this is my calendar here. So I wrote it at the top. So there, gym, All right, boom. All right, <clears throat> on the days that I think it might be doable. Because there are days when I know I'm going to have to get up and take my mom somewhere or get up in the tile, people are going to come. So, <laughs> okay, I'm not looking anymore. I keep seeing a FBA in the chat. Uh, and then I want to go for a walk twice this week too. But that's easy because the park that, that I like to go walking at with, with the boys um, has got like 17 pokey stops. So we can take a big, long pokey walk, and the boys will be happy because we're going on a pokey walk. And then I can get my walk in. And the loop at the loop at this park is about a mile, so it's pretty good. And then, as far as health and wellness, I am planning on doing more meal planning. Which I actually did it last night because I find if I wait for the last second, we end up eating sandwiches <laughs> because I can't think on the fly. Like, what should I cook now? Oh, I don't have anything prepared. So that's that. Okay, that's not too much with health and wellness. Really, it's just getting to the gym twice and getting walking in twice. That's not so bad. All right. Okay, let's see. Do, 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 do. I'm looking at the chat. Brooke says, disc driver. Wow, that's awesome. Okay. Uh, I've been trying to list one. Oh, wait, that must be something else. You're talking to somebody else, maybe? I don't know. Okay. So Cherie's entourage just shipped things in that were okay, and then they got there and were restricted. Thank goodness for removal orders. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Right, and, and Caroline, you need to meal plan more. That's what you said. That's kind of what got me onto that, like, because you were saying you were trying to cook one or two new things a month. Um, and I do, like, I always end up cooking the same thing when I do. So, yes, I need to cook more and a few different things. I, and, you know, caramel, 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 I do like the slow cooker. She's saying use the slow cooker. When I was working, the slow cooker was my friend. Yes. So here says it's important or else we end up getting takeout. You know what's awesome though? There's a store near me. And they have them here in Texas. They're called H-E-B. And, and I like to call it Herbert Eats Butts, but I can't because I can't remember his last name, but it's Herbert E something. Um, but anyway, over at the Herbert Eats Butts grocery store, <laughs> Randy's laughing, uh, they have like, they have these kind of prepped meals for you. So they have, you know, that's raw chicken, but they've got pesto on it already. So all you have to do is like put it literally into the oven. And they have like Alfredo and they have ones that are like fresh, prepared, ready. You pick it up and they're pretty cheap. Like the, the one with two chicken breasts with the pesto is like $4. So it's just like, boom, throw it in the oven and just get some sides. So sometimes I do that. Sometimes I do that. Okay, okay. I'll move on now. How, how are we doing on time? I don't even know. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh, we got 36 people. Uh, okay. So the third area that I talk about is home and organization because my home, if it's a big cluttery mess, I don't feel peaceful and I don't feel like I can't focus on other things if my environment feels chaotic, if that makes sense. So last time we talked, um, I wrote cleanup mode. I'm not sure what I mean by that. But, okay, <laughs> again, whatever it is, check cleanup mode. I did it. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> but I also, one of the um, things I wanted to do was clean out the boys' toy toy closet, which I did. So that was good, too, because then we were able to clean out the boys' toy closet. So then I also wanted to start working in the boys' rooms, and I know that's going to take a week for me to go through just all their stuff. They have so much stuff. So this week, gosh, I think you're right. I have too many dang goals. <laughs> but I figure if I break, break it up into little segments, maybe we'll see. Next week we'll talk about how many goals I made and, and what if I was maybe smoking something. I don't smoke anything, but you know, yeah. Brooke Hayes says, I want to get Blue Apron so bad. Oh, yeah. Uh, new wife with zero cooking skills. Sub sends you everything. I've seen those. They look really good. I'll have to see. I'll have to see if they're any good. I wish they would send me, hey, Blue Apron, if you're listening, send me one to review. Because, <laughs> of course, Blue Apron watches my channel. <laughs> okay. So, this week, home and organization, boys' rooms. As I read these out, I wrote them and I felt so good about all my goals, but as I'm reading them out loud, I'm like, man, I really, I think I plan too much. Work on the boys' rooms, do my work room, like I said, and then I thought this might help, is that 10 minutes before going to bed, just do like a 10-minute sweep of the house, like 
picking up, straightening up. Because if not, it just becomes like we have a countertop above, you know, in our kitchen, and that just like collects everything. So it's just covered, you know. So yes, tweet blue apron, you might get a response. Ooh, I might. Ooh, I like that, Nevada. Okay. You never know, right? You never, never know. Okay, and speaking of that, Nevada, let me tell you, I, I got an email from this um, jewelry company called Soul Feel. I'd never heard of them before, but they sent me an email and said, hey, you want to do a review for us? We'll give you some jewelry. Like, does somebody say no to that? That's what I want to know. I mean, so I was like, okay. So, and then I messaged him back and said, well, I like to, you know, if I do this kind of thing, I like to do like a giveaway, you know, can I also choose something that I can give away? So they said, yes. So I'm waiting for the stuff to come in the mail because then I'm going to do a video of this jewelry. It's kind of like Pandora bracelets. And uh, so, yeah, so they let me pick out some stuff and then they let me pick out something to give away. So I can't wait. I'm more excited about giving away because I picked out like a, so it'd be like a Lucky Charm bracelet, not like a Lucky Charm cereal bracelet, but like a Lucky Charm for your picking pleasure, you know, bracelet. So I can't, that's exciting to me. So I can't wait for that. Out of the blue. So I, I'm serious. I was like, who says no? You want to send me some jewelry? No, I don't think, I don't think I'm going to do a video for you. I don't want that. <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, Vegan Yao says, clean up my office after your pretty previous video. It's a mess again. Mine too. <laughs> Mine too. Uh, I must have missed something. The fly lady does 15 fling boogie. Maggie, I'm going to have to find out what you're talking about. Because I don't know what that is. It sounds like a song, though. I must have missed something in previously. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, Brooke Hayes says, yeah, see, I seems like a lot of people saying they win giveaways and everything, not just for Blue Apron, but for so much stuff. I never do that stuff. I don't like playing the lottery either. I don't like to play the lottery either because then I feel like I'm just wasting my money. But free stuff I'll take. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah, I can't wait for the jewelry one. Yes. Another vote for flylady.net. What is that? Okay, I'm going to have to look this up. I don't know what this is. Okay, Zahir says, Beck is a, oh, I'm not going to read that out loud. Okay, but maybe I will. <laughs> Zahir's wife is named Becca. Do you want me to read that out loud? I'm not. Never mind. <laughs> oh, Maggie says, clean up in 15 minutes a day. Is that what the fly lady is? Okay, I'm going to have to find out. Um, 20, okay, all right. All right, okay. <laughs> Let me know Zaheer. Uh, maybe I will, maybe I won't, because Beck might watch this later. <laughs> All right, <laughs> number four. The last area that I try to make sure, and this one I, is important, especially for keeping your spirits up, <clears throat> um, because it can get depressing being isolated and working by yourself, right? Is the fun, making sure you're planning fun. And the last time I talked, I hadn't planned out anything. <laughs> She's sitting next to you. Okay, good. Then I will read it. But <laughs> Zahir said, Beck is a pain in the arse. Since she's been home, it's all tidy, but hell, it's annoying sometimes. <laughs> good for you, Beck. Put him to work. Come on. <laughs> Get him up off his bottom and, and put him to work. <laughs> and if you need a writing prop, let me know. And I'll send you one, and you can, like, really make him get after it. Okay. Number four. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but um, was it, like I said, fun, making sure you're having fun or have something that you're looking forward to in the week. Because I find that when I don't have anything that I'm looking forward to, it makes things a little more like, you know. So the last time um, I talked about doing pokey walks, but that's something that we did. We did a pokey walk. That was fun. Um, Chatterbooks last weekend, I was looking forward to that, and that was a lot of fun. Um, the live Chatterbooks. <clears throat> hey, Darlene. <clears throat> and then Randy and I got a date night. Was it last night? Friday night. What's today? Sunday? So Friday night, Randy and I got to go on a date. We haven't gone on a date since probably April because my mom had her strokes April, May, and we haven't been able to go out since then. So we got to go on a date, and we went to the mall. <laughs> And we went to the movies. We went to Star Cinema. And, you know, that's the one where you can get food and drink and eat while you're watching. We went to see Suicide Squad. So that was fun. Huh, Ran? Yeah. I had a good time. Yeah. 
And then, and then a, a girlfriend of mine, now that the kids are back in school, a girlfriend of mine that lives in the neighborhood, oh, you've seen her, AJ, you know AJ, she did a munch pack with me a while back. Um, she said, hey, come over after you drop the kids off. This was Friday too. Come over, I'm going to make quiche and we'll have mimosas and quiche. I can't drink really much in the morning. So I, I nursed a little mimosa and had a, some quiche with my friend. That was really nice. So the problem with that, there's not really a problem with that, but she initiated it, which was really nice. But I have to make sure, because for me, I have to um, really consciously make that effort to initiate. Like I have some friends, my friend Kelly, I don't know that you've met Kelly. In it. Well, she's been in one of my videos from a long time ago, but she's going to be on the next Chatterbooks. She is the master, I mean, she's like the social butterfly in my life. Um, but I, for her, it seems easy. Like for me, I feel like I have to work at it. So that's my point. I must initiate, I put here. I must initiate, I will. So, one, I started my Neighborhood Girls Book Club up again um, because we kind of fell off the wagon with that. Like, But I, we're gonna start with the same book that we're doing with Chatterbook, so I don't have to read another book. Is that cheating? And then, <clears throat> pardon me, I decided that this week I wanna make sure I call an old friend that I haven't talked to in a while, and I know who I'm gonna call, her name is Dawn, and then set something up with AJ because AJ, you know, she initiated something with me. I want to make sure I'm reciprocating with my friends, you know what I mean? Because, you know, you've got that friend that you are all the time setting things up with them, but they never, they never reciprocate, you know what I mean? So I, want, I don't want to be that friend. I want to make sure I'm reciprocating, you know? Or maybe I'm just not taking the hint. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so those are my goals. So if you're watching now and you want to get in on the you know make sure you're you've got people okay, okay. I already read that um share your goals so that we can help each other out you can put it in the chat but it's the chat goes away so if you want to wait and put it in the comments below or you can come over to Facebook Texas Gal Treasures and put the your goals over there and we'll just kind of check in with each other and see how we're doing so that's pretty much it it is three o'clock on Sunday. I've got 41 viewers here. Uh, if you don't mind, hit the like button down below and let me know that you are here and if you like this and if you don't, you can hit the thumbs down, that's fine too. And I think that's pretty much it. So if you haven't subscribed to me already, hit that subscribe button because this is the kind of thing you'll get. It's me. <laughs> Talking about cherry pies and bras and things like that. Anyway, um, also there's going to be another thrift to haul throwdown, which Jason is sure I'm going to lose, which I need to go back and, and see his friend Nick. I think it's Nick Garcia. I'm sure I'm saying his name wrong. I could be totally wrong what his, about his name. But, oh, Joni, you're having surgery Thursday. Oh, no. Hopefully everything's okay. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> okay, so anyway. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks to everybody who came in live to chat because I really enjoy talking to everybody. I miss, you know, talking to everybody all week and I enjoy coming and talking to you guys. Okay, I will see you later. Hopefully I'll see you over on Facebook and yeah, I'll talk to you later. See you later guys. Bye.